the sum of first seven terms of an AP is 63 and that of its next seven terms is 161. So, here see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms and next seven terms means 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, sum of first seven terms, if I add all these seven terms is 63. If you add the remaining 7 terms, that is 161. So, it means clearly the sum of 14 terms, all the terms together is 63 plus 161. You can solve in this way by taking S14 as 200 and, sorry, this is 2, 4, 224. You can take 224 or otherwise I'll tell one more method. So here first I'll solve in this way. Sum of 7 terms. So SN formula here is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d SN formula. Sum of n terms n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. The sum of first 7 terms S7 is 7 by 2 into other way first write what is given S7 is 63. Sum of next seven terms is 161. Means here S14 is sum of first seven terms plus sum of next seven terms. That is 63 plus 161 S14. So here is 4, 2 and 2, 224. S14 is 224. Now if we will substitute in the formula N by 2. 2A plus N minus 1 into D is 63. 7 by 2. 2a plus 60 is 63. So here, now again if we substitute here, S14, 14 by 2, 2a plus 14 minus 1 into d is 224. So here, in the first equation, if we will take 2 common, a plus otherwise let it be here the same way just cancel with 7 7 times 1 7 9 63 if we'll cross multiply this to 2a plus 60 is 18 this is equation 1 here 2 times 1 2 times 7 again 7 times 1 7 times 3 is 21, 7 times 2 is 14. So here 2a plus 13d is 32. This is equation 2. Now I need to solve 1 and 2. Solving equation 1 and equation 2. Equation 1 is 2a plus 13d. Equation 2 I wrote. Next equation 1 is 2a plus 60 18. Now here we will subtract 2a 2a will get cancelled. 13 minus 6 which is 70. 32 minus 18 is 14. 
so d is 14 by 7 so the value of d is 2 now if I will substitute d value in any one of the equation I will substitute in the first here 2a so 2a plus 6 into 2 is 18 2a plus 12 equals 18 2a equals 18 minus 12 2a equals 18 minus 12 so 2a equals 6 a equals 3 the value of a is 3 6 by 2 is 3 now the series is first term second term third term first term is a second term is a plus 1d or a plus d and third term is a plus 2d a plus 2d here because the nth term formula is a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d so here a is 3 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 times 2 3 5 3 plus 4, 7. So on. This is AP. So the required AP is 3, comma 5, comma 7. In this way we can simplify. The other way is, we can do in the other way. Sum of first 7 terms. Is 63. Sum of next 7 terms is 161. SN formula if I apply n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d is 63. 7 times 1, 7 times 9. So now 2a 7 minus 1 60 2 if I will transpose 9 into 2 18 equation 1 see if you are taking like 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 this 7 terms you added and you are adding next 7 terms means your first term 13 and 14 if you're taking like this so your next term in the next series the first term is eighth term so s7 when you write in the formula here see 7 by 2 7 terms only you're writing so 7 by 2 2 a but instead of a write a 8 because in the next series your first term is eighth term plus 7 minus 1 into d is 161. So now 7 by 2 to a8. a8 will be a plus 7d plus 60 is 161. So 7 times 2, 14. 7 times 3, 21. So now here 2a plus 14d plus 60. This 2 if will transpose 23 into 2, 46. 2a plus 20d is 46. This is equation 2. Now if I will solve both the equations, 2a plus 20d is 46. 2a plus 6d is 18. So here if I will subtract. 14d is 28 
D is 28 by 14. D is 2. So, common difference is 2. Now, if I substitute in the first equation like 2a plus 60 is 18. 2a plus 6 into 2 is 18. 2a plus 12 equals 18. 2a equals 18 minus 12. 2a equals 6. So, a equals here 6 by 2. So, a is 3. So, now how I simplified in the previous one, like say in the same way. Just we need to find series. So, find a1, a2, a3. a1 is a which is nothing but 3. a2 is a plus d which is nothing but 3 plus 2. That's 5. A3 is A plus 2D, so 3 plus 2 times 2, 3 plus 4 is nothing but 7. So the series is 3 here, 3, the series is 3, 5 and 7, 3, 5, 7, so on. This is the arithmetic progression. Mm -hmm.